at this point, it's just getting ridiculous how much these boys are just fucking dropping tracks. Uh, World of YouTube, today, it's Brockhampton again. Two new tracks. This makes nine songs that they've released basically under this technical difficulties radio um, sort of thing. Um, there's already been like... Uh, fan albums been surfacing on YouTube where those last seven tracks were all 20 minutes long and they keep giving us songs. This, they're basically giving us enough for an album at this point and that's fucking wild. Um, altogether from all the songs I've heard, I think I really, really liked uh, four out of the seven and then three of them I thought were pretty good. Although I thought I definitely heard better from them. So at the same time, as much as I'm enjoying getting tracks to them, the quality is not to the peak that I expect from the boys. But regardless, today we got two songs, Fishbone, and we got Chain On, Hold Me, featuring JPEG Mafia, the king in the fucking game. Uh, JPEG Mafia is easily one of my favorite rappers, like top 10, easy. Uh, veteran came out back in 2018, I believe. Yeah, it came out in like February or something like that. Uh, I listened to it a month after it was released, and I gotta be honest, my first listen, I thought it was good, but not as impactful as it is for me now uh and then when he dropped all my heroes are corn balls like fucking he solidified himself as one of the most important rappers just on those two projects alone now he's releasing singles too this year uh not as intensely as brock hampton is obviously but they've been quite they've been bumping so let's get into this first song is fishbone let's go Okay. Maybe that chorus will uh, stick with me after a few more listens. Oh, when Bareface comes in, everything is better. Just realized I'm kind of wearing the same uh, color as the album cover. Perfect time. This is not. This is coincidental. I think the fact that I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this song after first listen um, proves a testament of I think this song will get better. Because with a song like Downside. Um, I already knew this like going into it. I was like, okay, I know what they're trying to sound like. Um, this does sound like Brockhampton. Um, very one of their like R&B pop songs. Um, and I, 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 I kind of dig it. I like it. I have to listen to this a few more times to know if it really grabs me. But from first listen, it's cool. All right, next up here, JPEG Mafia. Chain on hold me. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Peggy Ringo, slick with the ink. These melodies need to a lingo. Same size as do a leap away to fuck my pingo. Fiddle to win minimal. Used to get 50 views, now they need Peggy's momentum. Ooh, you tell them fucking Peggy. Hearing a JPEG Mafia on a beat like this. Okay, a Wu Tang sample. Perfect. Huh, that sounds so nice. Like the bass guitar in the back. Ooh, this is fucking awesome. I want a whole Peggy R&B album. I really need it. Okay, so Chain On Hold Me featuring JPEG Mafia. That is easily, like, easily the best song that they've released out of the nine. Um, wow. Yeah, that just had, like, this, this fucking... The whole thing sounded very um, vintage, 
right? I've already said that beforehand, but this is vintage, not in the sense of um, like a 90s uh, boom bap song. Uh, very, very soul-like. Uh, JPEG's Mafia verse is pretty cool. Um, kind of reminded me of Childish Gambino, sort of. Um, this, again, that beat that he, JPEG Mafia was on, not really the beat that you would see him on, but he works it extremely well. And then comes in with the fucking R&B, Oh, hold me like yesterday. Oh, fucking great. Uh, Joba 2 sounds really nice on this. And yeah, um, I love this. This song is great. Uh, also, I was just looking. Apparently, Technical Difficulties is an album. I didn't know this, but if you go on, um, like, hey, this may not be real at the same time, but if you go on um, Genius, they have a bunch of other songs that shows they're going to release and it just has these track listing of the nine songs and it looks like there's going to be it looks like there's going to be 27 songs all together um which is fucking nuts that's nuts yo um that's crazy um i love to see it though for the most part these nine tracks uh, all together, the consensus is that they're quite good. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what the boys uh, drop next because I'm assuming they're just going to keep dropping these until all 27 are done. Uh, fucking cool. Uh, awesome. Anyways, if you guys want to see me react to anything else, please put a comment down below. Uh, peace.